Good morning, everyone. A bright day out today. Our gospel today is again from St. John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf, that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form. You do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do you not think that I will accuse you before the Father? The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday's Solemnity of the Annunciation, if nothing else, it gives us evidence that there is another script. There's another storyline that parallels the human story. And that story is God himself. It's the creator. It's the love of God. It's the one from whom all of this world came from and to whom all of this world is going. Today, as we reflect on the expectant Blessed Mother now, pregnant with life from the Father, as we hear Jesus' words beginning more and more to talk about his Father, this invisible one who and to whom all things are ordered, as we see these things, we are invited to reflect on them. In our own day, we hear and see many disturbing things, and we'll continue to do so. But there is something beautiful to be seen, something magnificent to be thought of, and it's the love of God. Today, amidst all of the distractions that will surround us, let us be not distracted, but attracted to the one who loves who holds this world in his hand and who longs that we not forget him. God bless you.